Welcome back. Tonight, new details about the future of the Wildflower Triathlon after learning it will return to Lake San Antonio next year. This year, the race did not happen for the first time in 34 years due to the worry of low water levels and lack of participation. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola explains what's new and exciting for the future race. Kelsey, the Wildflower Triathlon has rebranded itself and will be called the Wildflower Experience. Now, the organizer says it will have more of a festival feel and have something for the whole family. Lake San Antonio has been the home of the Wildflower Triathlon since 1983. The four-year drought put a hold on the 2017 race. Coming up to that weekend and not preparing that, it was hard. But next year, it'll be back at the Lynch Boat Launch area. Month after month, race director called Colleen Bowsman would check the lake. And the tears came to my eyes because I just couldn't believe that it was possible that you could fill an entire lake in one year. On Sunday, lake staff said it was 38% full. This portion of the lake reopened in May. Bowsman says during her time off, she looked at how the event can evolve. We're looking at a 5K, a 10K, a stand-up paddleboard race, and morning yoga each morning. It's a big boost for the economy as well. Besides booked hotels in Paso Robles and King City, the race donates to local schools, charities, and the Monterey County Parks Foundation. Local businesses come to the expo at the race, too. One of our motivations about bringing it back was hearing from people over and over and over, you have to bring it back. Bike shop owner Keith Schmidt says it was weird not gearing up for the race this year. He and his mechanics tune up the competitors' bicycles. This would have been my 34th year in a row. Uh, I missed it terribly. As for the big cutout of a triathlete outside the south gate of the lake, that's still there. It provided a glimmer of hope needed to get those gates open and the race back in swing. Just super exciting to see it on the rebound. In its prime, there were at least 7,000 participants and 30,000 spectators. Organizers hope they have at least 5,000 participants this time around. In the studio, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. And race registration opens this Tuesday. The triathlon is in May. For more information on how to sign up, visit our website, ksby.com.